This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Changing variable values. These two flowers use a single variable to store their petal size, but the value stored in the variable changes in the middle of the program. Do this, run the program several times to see how it works, discuss the code with your partner, change the program so that the flowers have random petal sizes as in the image. Okay. Okay, run the program several times. So change the program so the flowers have random petal sizes. All right, let's see. What's going on here? So I create this variable up here called petal size, but it's not equal to anything yet. I'm just making it. We paint the background green, and now I say, hey, remember that variable petal size? Boom. It's now equal to 30. And then we draw one, two, three, four circles. What size? Well, their location first. Here's this first one, 75, 100. Let me do a grid, and let me hover over. So circles are drawn from the center. So 75, 100, it must be this little purple one right here. Now, what size is it? Well, it's width, right? Ellipse width is petal size. The computer says, what the heck is that? Smack. Oh, okay, you mean 30. Height is petal size. Wait, what? Smack. Okay, you mean 30. So it's a 30, 30 circle at that location. And here's all the other petals. Okay. So if they want it to be a random petal size, we would need with all the petals the same, right? Because if I do this all over the place, Every time you run random number, you're going to get most likely a different number. It's not the same every time you run it. So maybe this was 5 and this shot out 97. So we just want to run it once because we want all the petals to be the same size, but we do want them to be able to change. So I'm going to keep in mind that number 30, and maybe I'll start with 30. And now when we run this program, petal size is going to be e equal to anything from 30 to 100. And then it uses whatever number that is, because it runs random number once, and maybe it's 37. And then it says, okay, 37, 37. Oh, okay, 30. It's not like it runs random number again. That only runs once. Petal size is that number. And then we use that number all throughout. But it looks like we hit down here, and that's why this will be a different size. Boom. <laughs> so maybe I want to go a bit smaller, maybe 60. Just kind of playing around a bit. Okay, cool. So there's that one. Now, what about down here? Here, pedal will always be 60 because of this. Now, did they ask for pedal to be the same? Nope, we can make them random. Okay, so now we'll just randomize it again. And if we run this again and set petal size equal to it, it will get a new random number. And maybe I'll make this one a little different just to ensure that it, there's some variety to, to increase the likelihood of it. And boom, boom, boom. And we could make them the same. They'll still be different each, well, almost every time because it's grabbing another random number whenever we ask it to run that. Cool. Onward.